how bent is too bent? Well, I've had some pretty extreme cases, um, but uh, what I consider too bent is when the labor and effort and the process that it takes to straighten a shaft exceeds the value of the material itself that would be replaced. That determines the two bend. Uh, but here's one for you. Enjoy. Welcome to Turn Right Machine Works. My name is Keith. Uh, today we, we just had this dropped off. Uh, and this is a shaft. We're doing a shaft check. And uh, we've got an extreme bend in this shaft. We've got uh, 216 thousandths of full run out. And uh, and we're gonna we're gonna finish doing the shaft check here and see if this is a viable uh, repair re or replacement. Okay, here's a look at the uh, the run out in this section here. When you bend a wheel from force on the uh, propeller, you cause a counter bend in the middle of the shaft. Or if the bottom came up and smacked your shaft in between. Uh, a forward strut or a through haul and a rear bearing uh, you can get bends like this but one if it bends here it's got to bend somewhere else yeah 210 thousandths there let's take a look at the end here okay we've moved the indicator down here the minor diameter of the taper and we're rolling it and we got uh, a 130 that side and about 124 we're talking an eighth of an inch of run out here on the uh, on the taper end and we got the other bend in the middle we got this bend here uh, in relationship to our two zero points on our rollers uh, we're gonna go ahead and do a die check on this now and make sure that there's no cracks uh, if we don't find any cracks then we're gonna straighten and refurbish this shaft We've uh, just completed the die check here, and we have no visible cracks on the taper end or the coupling end. Now that we, we've established how much runoff this is, and it's pretty extreme, and it has no cracks at either end, so it is a good candidate for a, uh, a repair. Now, if we were in business to sell shafting and we were sitting on uh, a large inventory of marine shafting and we needed to move some material uh, to establish a buck um, we'd probably be swaying towards a replacement but there's nothing wrong with this piece of material it's just a little out of shape um, and there's no there's no detrimental cracks into the, the key areas um, and it, it with the right talent. I will put this shaft back in to the tolerances that I feel should be in a marine shaft and save the customers some bucks on the way. Okay, here's a uh, uh, quick look at uh, the finished straightened shaft. Um, you saw it run out a quarter inch in this area here and you saw an eighth of an inch out there on the taper. Um, a lot of people will ask, what are my tolerances? Um, two thousands anywhere on the shaft but the main riding areas the taper the cutlass bearing the through haul and the coupling area less than two always all right now you'll see little spots like this this is where I, I've done my heat straightening okay so you can see the extent as I go through and I'm gonna grab the camera in my hand and it'll be a little shaky but I'm gonna hit from end to end on this shaft and show you Run out. Right here, I got about one thousand in the middle. Okay, we're gonna start down here at the uh, the minor diameter of the taper. Now we can only roll part way because of the key. And let me bring a good part of the dial up. Uh, just play with a zero there. Okay, we're under two there. All right, middle of the bearing. About one and a half. About one. 
the center was running one another foot down the shaft about one and a half okay here at the end where the coupling rides huh? Okay, here at the end where the coupling rides. All right, so that's this is what I expect when I straighten a shaft, even before uh, I machine a brand new one on the raw stock. This is what I'm looking for. When you bring a shaft in here to turn right machine works, this is what you can expect for workmanship expectations, and what I mean about bringing your shaft back to life. It's very forgiving material. Alright, let's get this uh, polished up and uh, we're going to go fit this coupling. It's a solid bore coupling and uh, we got to go check the fit on that and see the integrity of that fit. And if it's good, then I'll, I'll get it done. And uh, here, shaft's been here for about four hours and it's almost ready to be put back in the boat. Okay, getting ready to assemble the, their coupling, and I found it had a good fit. I cleaned it up and got the key to slide freely through it. Uh, it's not all beat. There is one little, little mark right there, but we'll address that later. What I want to point out here is brand new piece of key stock, and you're going to run into this down at the boat because I tell you to tap in a key, okay? That one, <laughs> if you tapped it, it would bounce out, okay? Uh, I'm going to show you how to make this key fit tight in that keyway okay this is this is going to be the side that we're going to put down into the keyway and we want to increase a width on both sides there because that's what you got to get to make it fit tighter in in the keyway all right take a smooth faced ball peen and get a nice piece of uh, metal uh, steel, something solid, and you want to take and very lightly peen right along that edge there and this edge here. And you work it a little bit at a time. Turn it, do the other side. All right, now we test it into the shaft. All right. Now I'm happy with that fit. When you're tapping it in, you want to make sure that none of the brass chips raise up. Uh, if they do, uh, you blow them away. Uh, you'll be prying your key back out and putting it back in and double checking it and then uh, you want to make sure that you're not key bound alright line up the dimples alright we're ready to do a fit and face now, if you can't find uh, square heads with the uh, hole in them for tie wire, go ahead and install uh, your same size nut. These are 3 8 square heads, so a 3 8 uh, national course nut. And then you can cinch that nut down and lock it just like a jam nut on the end of uh, your propeller shaft. All right, we're just throwing the indicator on here just to see where it was. So, you know, we straighten <laughs> the old by Jesus bend out of this thing, and uh, and now we're gonna face it off, and then it's back 100% running. 
true. Hey, it's bound to happen. Every once in a while, the ocean floor comes up and hits the bottom of your boat. You know, it's, it's not just being able to straighten them. Being able to hold the set in the stainless steel. Have them stay this way from now on. Or at least until the mishap. Uh, by the way, this mishap was... Uh, it was, it was a, a direct hit on the shaft in front of the strut bearing and may have hit the, the blade as well. I didn't see the blade so I can't confirm that. Uh, but I, the, the scraping I saw on here, um, I mean it polishes up fine. It's not detrimental to the shaft. I just, uh, I just called Rotor to the shaft here, let him know that it's ready and he hesitated for a second, and he goes, "You were able to straighten that? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm just calling you to see if uh, you wanted uh, keys and nuts for the prop in." <laughs> and he goes, "Hey, how much is that? Uh, okay, uh, you know, in, in reality, to the cost of the nuts and the, and the, and the key and everything else, and it reminded so many people don't think below the waterline." Uh, or the thought of below the waterline is is second. Um, you know they want the they always concentrate on the bling, you know, but they nothing on the propulsion system, and it uh, it just it you know I floored him because I was able to take care of this, but people floor me sometimes on their thinking on what's important. Um, so I, you know it, uh, <laughs> it 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 cracks me up sometimes. Um, it di disappoints me a lot of times uh, because people, uh, his thought was that it was impossible to straighten this. He would have been sucked into a new shaft so fast. And right today, I proved to him, and I'm showing you, that even what you think is the worst case scenario on your shaft, bring it in here. Let me help you decide if it's a lost cause or it can be refurbished. Um, you might be just wondering uh, about less than half the cost of a brand new shaft. I straightened this one out and reconditioned it for uh, my customer. Get her done.